first person singular. The views expressed in this story are those of the writer. As a high school student, Dick Hara had his first lesson on becoming a teacher. The original reason I became a teacher was because you could get a draft deferment. It was the fall of 1964. I'd recently graduated with a BA in fine arts and had wandered west. And I was nervous. Vietnam was heating up. I scored a job teaching seventh grade in a little cow town up in Siskiyou County. They were desperate. The school year began in one week. I had no education classes. I had no teaching credential. But for some reason, the ranchers on the school board took a liking to me. That's when it occurred to me that if I were going to be a real teacher, I'd need some mentors, some role models. I chose Socrates and Merlin right off the bat, and Vincent Scully, an incredible architecture teacher I'd had back in college. Then I thought, maybe I had to also honor the worst teacher I ever had. That way I'll have a negative mentor to act as a kind of idiot light, a kind of dashboard warning. I remembered my senior year in high school. Mr. Sattler had assigned us Milton's poems, La Allegro and Il Penseroso, and I'd gotten hypnotically lost in the juicy nocturnal moodiness of Penseroso. For some reason it hit me that I must be a romantic. The word just jumped out. I decided to ask Mr. Sattler about it. The next day I got to school early. I rushed up to him and asked my question, what was a romantic and might I possibly be one? He answered, don't get ahead of the rest of the class and sent me on my way. The late Dick Hara was a revered high school teacher in the San Lorenzo Valley for over 40 years. For First Person Singular, this is Lori Korn.